What is up guys, so for this video I want to talk about the top three biggest cliffhangers heading into season four of Bitter Call Saul. Yes, bitch! All right, real quick before I start this video, if you'd like to hear the sound of my voice talk about Better Call Saul, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Do it. So, the season three finale of Better Call Saul left us with some pretty open-ended storylines heading into season four. The intense season finale entitled Lantern led to the climax of key plots that we saw develop over the course of season three. While these plots made some very serious progress in a very dramatic fashion in the last episode of Season 3, it also left us with many questions and cliffhangers heading into the fourth season of Better Call Saul. So with all that being said, here are the three biggest cliffhangers heading into Season 4 of Better Call Saul. Number 3. What will happen in the aftermath of Chuck's death? This is probably the most obvious cliffhanger as it is the very last thing we saw at the conclusion of Season 3 of Better Call Saul. We all remember the notorious lantern scene at the end of the episode of its namesake. In my opinion, this cliffhanger is one of the most open-ended plots heading into Season 4 of Better Call Saul since it deals with many characters who do not appear in Breaking Bad. While the ending was not completely definitive and the episode ended somewhat ambiguously, I still think that it's really safe to assume that Chuck is now deceased as a result of him kicking over the lantern. The fallout and consequences of this event are still very open-ended in regards to how the plot surrounding Chuck's death will actually materialize in Season 4. This is primarily in regards to how this will affect the other characters who are associated with Chuck. Many questions still need to be answered in regards to the plot of Chuck, such as how will Jimmy react to the news of his brother's death, and how will Chuck's former business partner Howard react to this news as well? How will Howard handle this news after their last dramatic encounter at HHM? And what will Kim's reaction be to the death of her former boss? While it is still evidently apparent that Chuck is now probably dead, the reaction of the people who knew him the most is extremely open-ended for the writers moving forward into Season 4 of Better Call Saul. Number 2. What will happen to Nacho in the aftermath of Hector's heart attack? This might be my favorite plot moving forward in Season 4 of Better Call Saul due to its association to the cartel and the plot of Walter White in Breaking Bad. This had to be the most intense cliffhanger of Better Call Saul so far in my opinion. While it is apparent that Hector will now be resigned to a wheelchair after the climactic scene between Hector and Juan Bolsa, this plot is still incredibly open-ended in regards to Nacho and Gus. There are many questions surrounding this plot moving forward in the Season 4 Better Call Saul, such as what will happen to Nacho moving forward in Season 4. This look that Gus gave Nacho at the end of this scene in the season finale of Season 3 is unforgettable and accentuates the extraordinary intelligence of Gus Fring, who apparently knew almost immediately that Nacho most likely played a role in the demise of Hector. The question is, how will the writers decide to address the look that Gus gave Nacho at the end of this scene? Additionally, what actions will Gus along with the cartel take in order to investigate the events surrounding Hector? In addition to this, I'm eager to see what Nacho's next move is moving forward in the season 4 Better Call Saul. Nacho's actions did not go according to his plan, and he is seemingly aware that he will now be a prime suspect in the events surrounding Hector. The look Nacho displays as the ambulance drives away is incredibly introspective, and it appears that Nacho is almost petrified to see the consequences of his actions played out before his eyes. I'm really eager to see how the writers decide to have this plot unfold moving forward in the season 4 of Better Call Saul. Number 1. What will the aftermath from Gene collapsing on the floor at the end of the opening scene in the first episode of season 3 be? Unlike the cliffhangers we saw in the season finale of season 3 of Better Call Saul, this cliffhanger took place in the very first episode of season 3 of Better Call Saul in the episode entitled Mabel. I discussed the black and white flash forward scenes that have taken place in every opening episode of Better Call Saul through the first three seasons in depth in my previous video. The very last scene we see of this opening scene from episode 1 of season 3 in the episode Mabel where Gene collapses on the floor is in my opinion the biggest cliffhanger heading into season 4 of Better Call Saul. This is the biggest cliffhanger in the sense that we have no idea what the ultimate fate of Gene will be in Omaha. The black and white flash forward in season 3 stands out significantly compared to the previous two seasons. Here in season 3 the scene concluded with Gene collapsing on the floor compared to a more open ended ending in the opening scenes we saw in the previous two seasons. I discussed the Chekhov's gun dramatic principle that these black and white flash forward scenes symbolize in my previous video. So with all this being said, I'm really excited to see how the writers will address these three cliffhangers in season four of Better Call Saul. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to check out the other Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad videos on my channel. My name is Anton Jackson. Thanks again for watching.